Hodgkin's lymphoma rates are highest among people ages 15 to 39. Experts say if the cancer is caught early, though, treatment can be very effective. In tonight's Health Beat, Kelloland Sophie Heineman talks with a local woman who's raising awareness about the cancer. The good thing about you is that your disease was stage one. Christmas is usually filled with family traditions and holiday decorations. But for 22 year old Amanda Ferguson, the holiday was anything but tradition. I went in for a simple checkup because I had a cold, and lo and behold, I had a lump in my chest. And one test led to another, and finally I was diagnosed in March with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Ferguson's initial reaction to the diagnosis was shock. My husband and I kind of knew that you don't just get a lump in your chest and it's fine. And it's not, it doesn't just hang out for four months. A Vera Health hematologist and bone marrow transplant physician, Dr. Renju Raj, says extreme fatigue, unexplained weight loss, and fever are some of the symptoms of Hodgkin's lymphoma, which can vary patient to patient. The most common symptoms that you can have are swollen lymph nodes and large swellings in various parts of your body primarily in the neck, armpits, groin. But he says a lump can present anywhere in the body and are usually painless. Ferguson caught her cancer at stage one and began chemotherapy in April. It's hard. It's definitely not easy. I thought when I went in at 22 that I was invincible and I'm not. I'm not invincible. It's hard. Aside from the potential side effects of chemo, Ferguson was even more worried about losing her hair. I was very upset. That was, I cried many, many hours to many, many people. Now she says losing her hair has been the easiest challenge throughout her journey. After undergoing chemotherapy, Amanda will move on to radiation. She says her prospect of becoming cancer free is good. You know, there's a chance it could never come back again. I get to live my life. Um, I get to be around for my husband and my stepson and my family and my niece. By sharing her story, she hopes to help others going through a similar experience and urges them to be their own advocate. Be your own advocate. Only you know what's going on with your body. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman.